Howdy folks, and welcome back to more Wasteland Survival on Pertam. We're loaded up and about ready to head over to the Nickel Mine, over there to the north. I've got some solar panels put on the mobile drilling rig. The sun is just starting to come up, I think. It's starting to get light in the east, so we're going to get this thing turned around. You'll notice, if I get the camera in here, there's a little buggy there. I made a little tiny, almost throwaway buggy, so I don't have to walk back. Once I've got this thing established at the mine, I can use that to run around. And it's transportable. Plus it's cute, so bonus points for that. But I want to... I think the wheels wheels should be set. No, they're, dro they're drooping a little bit. I don't remember what the uh, default is here. Might need all the clearance we can get. Let's take the parking brake off. And I'm going to try to find my way out of the canyon. Get some lights on. This thing's a little top-heavy because I went and did a little bit of a test drill up at the silicon magnesium mine just right up the hill there. Got a bunch of stone in. It's about all I accomplished. That was the goal. Got some stone in. Got some parts made. Uh, we've got not a whole lot of power. We're just sitting here. It had a couple, three days of power. Driving, we've got maybe an hour tops. I'm hoping we can make it over to the nickel mine. Uh, I did put any headlights on. I'm starting to regret that decision. <laughs> when we're outside, it's not too bad. When we're in that uh, tinted cockpit, a little different story. So I'm going to try over here to get up on the rim, get out of this dry riverbed. And we're just going to take it nice and easy. Nice and easy is the plan. That looks kind of, sort of, doable. If we don't run out of traction. Said if we don't run out of traction. <laughs> oh, don't tip over backwards. Don't tip over backwards. Okay, we're going back down. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of a run at it. And we'll do just fine. And I think I'm going to strengthen up the suspension a bit. Got a little bit heavier since we've got some components and stuff in here. So let's go to our wheels. Make sure those are all selected. And our strength is at 6%. Let's bring that up to 10%. That's the strength of the suspension. We're going to get a little bit of run at this. I just need to turn off while I'm thinking about it. Turn off that uh, horizon. Yeah, there we go. Still a little dark inside the cockpit, but here we go. Easy there view. Might not have the top speed high enough to do much good. But oh no. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Alright, that might be a no go. I thought I thought we had it. I have made it out of here before. Not in this spot though. Okay, going back to the wheels. What is my max speed? Speed limit is 60k. Let's try 80. So we can get just a little more speed going. The speed in this, something this heavy, 146,000 kilograms. Not necessarily a good thing. I think we got it this time. Just got to ease on out of here. Keep them big old tires down on the ground. There we go. We got it that time. Now I got to watch with that higher top speed that I don't wreck it. 
So 1.4 kilometers over here to the nickel mine. It'd be probably a boring run. So I will see you over there at the mine. Well, I made it over here and I completely forgot this mine is on the side of a hill. I'm not sure this is going to work. So I could have just stayed in the dry riverbed and navigated down through there. I should have made a note on the GPS marker. This was the closest one. Should have made a mark. I'm going to ease down there. We might be able to make this work. I need to be fairly level or we won't drill straight into the ground. I don't have any facility for changing the angle of the drill. I do have a facility for running into trees, though. Out of there, tree. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. Let me turn the ore detector on. Yeah, it's it's down there. It's deep. 250 meters deep. I don't know that I can drill. I guess I could drill crooked, but what are the odds of hitting it if I drilled not straight down? Yeah. Oh boy. Don't tip over. It was thinking about it. Well, an option is to, I mean, I don't know how big the nickel deposit is. I could get up here on the side. Might be easier on the right side. And we could drill down. We know, I know if we go down 250 meters, we should be close to the ore. So that's probably an option. We'll, we'll get set up. But let me get this big beast wrangled around and kind of somewhat leveled out. And we'll start the drilling process. See you in a bit. Oh, we just had a rip-roaring storm roll through. It's moving off into the distance now. Visibility was down to about 15 meters. <laughs> Still some lightning off in the distance, but I've got this fairly well leveled up on the slope. And if I kick the ore detector on, nickel runs all along underneath here. So I think it's a fairly big deposit. So we're going to drill down here, but there's a couple things we need to do first. One of which I forgot to do. I've got a script that I'm going to use to measure the depth we're at of the drill head. So to do that, I need to set up a GPS point here. It's going to call it drill top. And I very stupidly jumped off that ladder. <laughs> That's why I put two ladders on here. It's probably not the last time I'm going to do that. So I've got a uh, script here I just need to set up real quick for the drill distance. Copy that to the clipboard. We're here to... Drill depth LCD. Then in here. Oh, I forgot to delete the uh, piece off the back there. Nice script off the workshop. Hats off to the modders. Now, is that going to work? Oh. Might have turned that off, actually. Uh, drill depth. Right. I forgot I stuck an echo in front of there. 
There we go. So we're currently 8.6 meters above. I think it measures from the center mass of the drill, something like that. So that will tell me how deep down I've gone in theory. So back into here and I'm going to need to get this set up manually. And we're actually going to have some sun here eventually. So I'll get the solar panels deployed. Maybe we can do it from, I'm trying to find a camera angle that works. And then I'm going to go over to my manual drill page here and let's get this set up. So I think if it's up top, it's ready to kick off. So the top connector is disconnected. I want the bottom connector on and the merge block is already on. So we should be able to send the piston up. And then if I remember right, my auto drill. Yeah, it locks the top, turns the welders on and then, okay. So once we're at the top, I should be able to set up the automatic sequence. That's the theory. We'll see if that works. It always works great in testing and then you turn the recording on and you never know what's going to happen. Note to future self, speed this up in post. Meant to throw some food in there, some extra food. I've got extra food and a rifle in the buggy. Just in case. Guess I could have been deploying the solar panels while I was sitting here. get these folded out and then I'll turn on Issy's solar alignment script and it will do the rest I believe turn that on all right we're up top so in theory this is gonna work out but save early save often <laughs> So if I go to this screen, I should be able to hit number one key, which is going to kick off the first timer block and start drilling. Oh, I changed my camera angle for some reason. So I put a rotating light up the top so I can know that I'm drilling. When it gets done with the sequence goes back up, it'll turn that off. And I know the Timer blocks are done. Oh, I need to turn on my conveyor. So we dump out the excess gravel. And the number two button there is a kill switch. It just stops all the timer blocks. All right, looks like we're going down. Let's go over here and look at the action. I've got the same one and two set here for start and stop. Need an observation deck. <laughs> yeah, the drill distance there is working. So if I've got everything set up right, this will go well. I've got the grinders down there. It's going to grind these off, get some components back. Get a little bit of material back from those because once we go in the ground, we don't need that connector and merge block. There we go. It's welding its way back up. I had some issues occasionally with it not welding the ladders. Yeah, it looks like it missed a section. Don't know why that is. It's the section right at the bottom. Maybe I need to slow it down a little bit. Should have plenty of parts. I've got enough parts. I've got auto crafting set up to keep enough parts on hand for four of these. So it might just be a case of it going a little too quickly.
Did it not finish that either? Might have problems. Yeah, it didn't finish something. Stop! Don't know what happened. No assemblers found. Right, that's because that's turned off, but I've got plenty of components. Alright, well, I didn't expect this to go perfectly the first time. Let me do some troubleshooting, and I'll be back. So, we're climbing to the top of the drill head here. I found the problem. My autocrafting LCD. Um, I guess it doesn't update that when the assemblers are off, so that was an old count. I didn't actually have enough components. So I turned the assembler back on, and I fixed the one ladder segment that didn't weld. And now I'm heading up here to the top. I can't bring the drill head back down because the welder is hitting on the partially formed uh, merge block, or connector, I mean. So I'm hoping, when I get here to the top, that I'll get off the ladder and be on top of the conveyor. Uh, if not, this might end up in the blooper reel. I don't know, it tur oh, it turns your jet back on when you get off. Interesting. Uh, so I just need to grind this down. So I can bring the weld heads back down and we'll get this whole process started over again. Uh, please don't throw me off the ladder. So back down the ladder we go. <laughs> I had to build some frame scaffolding to get up to weld the one ladder segment that wasn't complete. Um, but, hey, the ladder works. One thing I'm not sure about, though, is if I have enough room in the actual borehole itself. Pop out here to third person. So, yeah, I had to climb quite a ways up there, but we'll get it all fixed. Uh, kind of looks like maybe I'll fit in there. We'll see how it goes. I didn't expect a perfect run, but this did work several times in testing just fine. Oh yeah, no problem. So, when I get down there, I'm going to have to climb 250 meters out. Or down, and build stuff, and then out. So, that should be fun. What I need to do when I climb down there eventually is take enough stuff that I can put a cargo container on the bottom so I can draw parts out. Um, now the trick here is getting off without falling in the hole. That could be fun. Oh, like a pro! Alright, now I need to, get, need to get my scaffolding undone and we'll get this drilling process restarted. And hit, nope, nope. <laughs> We're gonna get the ladder this time. There we go. All right, I need to go over here and get this ground off. Then we can get everything started again. So let me get that cleaned up and I'll be right back. Well, folks, it's been a lot of troubleshooting. I'm hoping this weld here finishes. Figured out the problem. It didn't uh, quite copy over my autocrafting correctly from Creative, so I actually didn't have all the parts I needed. So that's why it wasn't welding up there. Got that sorted out. Now we're just running into a problem. I was ejecting too much stone at first, so I turned off the ejection of stone. So it just keeps the stone now. So it fills this full of stone, which is fine. Then we crank through that. Yeah, it looks like it welded everything. Great. Uh, we are 66 and a half meters down. And I added another basic refinery so we can chew through the stone a little quicker and get some more iron because we keep running out of iron. Get a little ladder there so I can get up on top. But uh, we're build rebuilding the components. We're doing okay on, I think, nickel and silicon. We've got tons of that. Uh, we just got to chew through. We've got 142,000 stone now just from one drill operation. <laughs> so we're going to chew through that. 
And the autocrafter is now set up correctly. I went back through and recalculated all the parts I needed. This has all the parts now for two of those segments. I forgot about the ladders. Those ladders are super expensive. Uh, I think it's 10... I've forgotten now. It's a lot. 10 small steel tubes, 20 construction components, and 10 interior plate. That's expensive compared to the rest of what we're building there. But that's the only ladder I could find that would work to go from a full block over the tubes. Uh, this little mod ladder that I like so much has to be placed on a full block so it wouldn't work out. And there's probably some tricks or something, but I couldn't get it to work. So I went with that. But I'd forgotten that in my calculations. And I didn't have all the right parts, so that's why it wasn't welding. But it's working now. I've done a couple cycles. Uh, I'm just waiting for the assembler to catch up. I might end up adding another assembler as well. This is a basic assembler. Maybe I should have went with the full, the full-blown assembler. This thing will probably evolve over time. Um, it worked in creative, but you know that doesn't always translate to survival, where you're pressed for parts. But uh, both refineries are chugging through. I went ahead and set up uh, Izzy's to make sure it processes the scrap before the stone. So when we get our scrap back from the grinders, it chugs through that in rapid order so we get our parts back. But uh, it does work. I want to send it down again. Just waiting on those tubes and we're waiting on construction components, interior plate, tubes, and a little, little bit extra steel plate. Then I want to send it down again. But we're, we're doing all right. We're down 66 and a half meters. Only about 200 more to go. <laughs> and I'm hoping at some point I start to see nickel show up up here. We'll see how that goes. Um, I probably should set... I just, Let me go check a look here. I've got a conveyor system set up. So the assembler and the refineries for this are isolated. So I've got my sorter coming in. And I'm only allowing stone in. So when we, when we hit a deposit of whatever, it's, it should, should start showing up here if I can speak. I'm trying to spit it out. It'll show up here in my inventory list. And it won't get processed because we're only allowing stone to come into the refinery and the assembler. Make sense? I thought so. It is chewing through that stone with the two refineries. That really helps having two of them. Um, I ended up bringing the truck out. Funny story. I, climb, I had to climb up this ladder system again. I got all the way up to the top. And when it took me off the top, my character got stuck between the ladder and the conveyor. And it went blah, 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 and I died. It was very daisy esque if you're familiar with DayZ. Uh, so the ladder killed me, and I did a very graceful swan dive off and went splat on the ground and then respawned back at my base. Um, so I'd been meaning to bring this out anyway, full of parts. I've got tons of parts in there. I had to use some to upgrade this, so I'm not sure if I have enough now. I brought enough out to get uh, a couple large uh, cargo containers, a uh, wind turbine, a battery, just some basic stuff so we can send ore up to the surface. But we'll be making more trips back. But what I did while I drove the truck out here, I just followed the riverbed. I made a whole bunch of waypoints. So in hopes of future automation, I have a waypoint system back to base and from base to here. So that's what's going on. Looks like we're a little short. We're just waiting on the assembler. It's just, it's a basic assembler. It's kind of slow. But it's working. There's a few little wrinkles, you know, a few little wrinkles here and there, but it's mostly working. I want to get another timer block and it will turn off that light when it's done. Right now I can tell it's done if it's all welded up and the connector is yellow. It means it's at the top. If I had one more timer block, I could have it turn off the light when it gets back to the top. And I know it's ready to go another cycle. I'm going to go ahead and send it down again. I don't know if it'll have enough to weld, but I've got it set so it just runs one cycle and then stops. 
so I can manage it. And I can always come back down and manually weld it using the manual controls of the piston and whatnot. So let's send it down. Here we go. So top connector is locked. These guys have let go. We're headed on down to the ground. The grinder is going to take off that connector merge block so we can reclaim some of those. We'll get some scrap back. I'm not sure what the loss there is, 10, 20%, something like that, maybe. I'm not sure with the awe scrap mod. We are headed on down. Down past uh, 72 meters now. That shows up in the compression. I cranked the font up about as high as it'd go and still fit on there. I could get rid of the header there, make it even bigger. So we're heading on down. Was it one, two, three, four, six? So was that 90? No, these are two and a half meters, not 15 meters. <laughs> so yeah, about, what, 15? 15, 15 meters at a time? Something like that. And this will come down, and the merge block, and the connector will clamp on. It was just a little low. I might need to tweak some numbers. Projector kicks on, and the welders come on, and it moves back up, welding along the way. And if we have enough parts, it'll be all welded. What's our depth there? 81.5. Pretty crazy. Drill head is 81 and a half meters below ground. At least the center of mass of it is. Come on. Let's have enough parts. Hopefully. The uh, solar alignment script has been doing pretty well. It's, it gets in a hunt mode here sometimes. I think it's the shadows from the drill head is confusing it. You know what? I think we had enough parts. We made her all the way to the top. It's like all the ladder segments. Uh oh, we missed a ladder segment. So I'll have to bring the head back down to weld that. Save me a lot of climbing. Plus, I don't trust the ladder too much. I'm going to have to trust it to get down into the mine, but. Uh, I've lost my elite tools. My body despawned before I could get back over here. So, that kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, I brought food and water, though, in both the buggy and the truck. So, we're good there. Alright, well, I'm going to keep managing this. I think with another assembler, maybe we could keep up. Because we're up to 1.7k of iron now. We've got quite a bit of iron. We've got all that stone to chew through from that drill, so I think we're doing okay. I've got the ejector over here. It's just getting rid of the gravel for now. And any organics we might pick up. So we're just filling this thing full of stone, and I think we're going to have to do that to keep up with the parts here. But anyway, I'm going to keep drilling. Hopefully in the next episode we'll be setting up a nickel mine. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks as always for hanging out, and I will catch you next time. Take care. Oh, hush, inventory manager. I don't have any bottles. Suppose I should set the tag just to make it hush. <laughs>